Well, folks, no need to wait any longer. This is Survivor Series. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived, and here we are. Welcome to Survivor Series. Coming to you live from beautiful downtown Indianapolis. We're ringside here in middle America. Indianapolis, to be precise. Keep your butt in that chair because we've got a heck of a show in store. Unless your house is on fire, you better stay put for some great WWE action. And now it's time for a Survivor Series match. It's going to be tough to top. Singles action on tap right now. It's Alberto Del Rio versus John Cena. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. Nor my commentary. It's Alberto Del Rio versus John Cena. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United States Championship. If you're just joining us, we are just about set for singles action. Why would you just be joining us now? Where have you been? Truthfully, I'm good with any Survivor Series match that doesn't include four doinks. <laughs> what was that all about anyway? Wasn't one doink enough?
Introducing the challenger from San Luis Potosi, Mexico. Weighing in at 239 pounds, Alberto De Rio. Introducing the champion from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, he is the United States champion, John. Oh boy, look at the goal. This should be an outstanding match. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Survivor Series, a WWE tradition since 1987. Yeah, and on that first night, Cole, I'll never forget Andre the Giants team defeating Hulk Hogan and his squad in the main event. This is absolutely fantastic. John Cena with the offense. Guys, let's briefly discuss the champion. What can we expect from him in this championship match? John Cena is the defending champ, and he wants to remain the champ. We'll see if he has what it takes to get it done. Tonight, look for him to fortify his claim in this division. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as Severe. No kidding, this is getting ugly. You know, it's remarkable. When John Cena has his adversary incapacitated, there's always the very real possibility that he will go to the submission hole that he has developed into his trademark, the STF. Oh, yeah. Cena doesn't miss many chances to lock that hold in, does he? A great shot there from Alberto Del Rio. The face and head are taking a great deal of punishment here. He's starting to stagger a bit. He's going to have to find a way to fend off the champ here. I tell you, we knew this was going to be a close affair, but I don't think we expected it to be this time. What a match. And when John Cena is able to lock in that STF hold that we were talking about, the result is pretty predictable. Very few of his foes are able to escape it. Right. Cena has a lot of championship matches on his resume, and so many of them have ended on a tap out after John's applied the STF. You know, a few of those contests come to mind, Michael. Cena used the STF to force Mark Henry to tap out at Money in the Bank in 2013. That was for the WWE Championship. And Cena finished Chris Jericho with it at Armageddon in 08 for the heavyweight title. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, just goes to show you, nobody's immune to the effects of John Cena's STF. Damage inflicted to the snapmare. Can't wake up from that one. No kidding, that snapmare was uh, especially hard. He's starting to stumble here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. But it's important to know that this match has been so evenly contested so far. You really can't pick a winner. Well said, John. And now's the time for one of these guys to take hold of this match. Cena reverses it. Oh, he really telegraphed that one, Cole. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. No lie. He's wild in there. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Del Rio took all of that. You know, King, every time John Cena steps into the ring, he steps into it like he is the C Nation's champion. Whether that's true or not, no matter who the opponent or what the reaction of the crowd may be, in Cena's eyes, he is the good guy in every match. Well, you know that's usually the case, Michael. It's incredible counter. Alberto Del Rio is such a show -off.
for everything, I guess. He's looking at it. Here we go now. Look at this. Cross arm breaker. It's locked in. You can almost start to see him fading now. Yeah, with each wrench, this gets closer to being over. Open the history books. We've got a new champion. Here's your winner and the new United States Champion, Alberto De Rio. New champion, I don't believe it. And neither does the former champ that appears to be stunned and astonished. Look at the look on that face. They can't believe it. But let's not forget, we have a new champion. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this one. Oh, I'm not going to miss it. It'll be Randy Orton against Roman Reigns. Well, this should be a lot of fun. Let's watch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. We're just moments away from one-on-one -on -one action here. And his opponent, from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. And here's Roman Reigns. Man, and you can tell by how he comes to the ring that someone's career could be about to end. Which one of these two will walk away with the win? We'll find out as this one gets underway in mere moments.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Survivor Series, a WWE tradition since 1987. Yeah, and on that first night, Cole, I'll never forget Andre the Giants team defeating Hulk Hogan and his squad in the main event. Very aggressive assault to the back. He doesn't want to win this one outside the ring. Because he's a pro king, he wants to get it done inside. How about we touch on Randy Orton a bit? He has absolutely no problem getting noticed. He's among the most bold superstars there are. Could you imagine being Randy Orton's opponent just in there waiting, knowing the Viper can strike at any moment? It's got to be nerve-wracking. On a roster full of bold superstars, he definitely stands out. And that's saying something. What makes Roman Reigns such a lethal entity is he possesses the power to dominate an opponent of any size, the athleticism to add speed to his attack, and a ferocity that makes him a relentless instrument of destruction. Well, there's no doubt about it, Cole. Roman Reigns' abilities, the strength, the agility, and his unyielding intensity really makes him a devastating weapon. Wow, that overhand punch started down behind his feet and just kept coming. <laughs> Man, that came out of left field. to be vigilant about not taking any more damage to the neck. He's just playing classic offense here. Yeah, and that's when he's the most dangerous. We've seen Roman Reigns devastate an opponent with power moves that would normally be reserved for two men performing a double team maneuver on a beaten opponent. Roman Reigns with nice contact there. You can hear that in different time zones. Roman Reigns with a reversal. Oh, you know, speed and power is a dangerous combination, Cole. He gets out of trouble there. Randy Orton has found an answer here. He's taking some offense. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Roman Reigns varies his assault, but he always brings it back to his power game. Orton makes the cover. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Roman Reigns is feeling it in there and letting the fans know he's got this. Roman Reigns has such a dynamic energy to him. I think everyone knows how that must feel. Oh man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know what that's like. Going for the quick cover is Randy Orton. What an offensive show by Randy Orton. Oh, Randy Orton has found an answer here. Rolling out of the ring, and it might be time for him to reassess the situation. All this action outside the ring, real dangerous out here. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Four. Roman's incredible array of physical gifts is second to none. You can be sure, though, that Roman Reigns is a great strategist as well. Six. Back inside the ring now. Reigns. Now that is just dangerous. No kidding. We got a cover. And the shoulder's up now. That's a kick out. Nice. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Oh, look at Roman Reigns pouring on the aggression. Oh, what a headbutt, Cole. He really connected with that one. That's got to be it. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Oh, out of nowhere. 
He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Whoa! Don't get up! Not this! He's looking at it again. Oh, he's measuring his man. He's stalking him. He's ready, Ken! Yeah, that poor guy's in trouble. Can barely get to his feet. And now... see it from this angle. He's going for the pin. This could be it. I think he's got him. What a match. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. Uh-oh, big move coming. What a counter that was. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. Look at those eyes. And Randy Orton gets stopped. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. Watch Roman Reigns delivering crippling punishment. This is insane. Does this building have a curfew? I feel like we might be here all night. What a beating. He can do it here. I think he's got it. Two. He's too busy bragging and boasting and battling in this matchup. He's too busy bragging and boasting and battling in this matchup. Look at this. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. Let's not count him out just yet, Michael. This could do it. Maybe he is. I like what I'm seeing here from Randy Orton. Randy Orton climbing up. Sure, but with a miss like that, I'm wondering if he has something in his eye. Shoulders down, this could be it. Count, Ruth, count. Well, man, he's going off here. I don't know if this is by design or if he just lost his mind. Yeah, I think he's stuck on the repeat button. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Look at Roman Reigns here. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Here's the cover for the win. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Shoulders down, this could be it. Count, two, count. We may have discovered his favorite move. You think? He seems to use it often enough. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. This kind of offense he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made a name for himself with this. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King but I still don't see him giving up. Roman Superman punch! Now that's a... Here we go for the win! I think they got him! Two. Oh. 
Thank you for closing out your weekend with us. We have plenty of action scheduled for you on this Sunday night. Randy Orton, no problem in getting out of that one. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. Oh, that might have swollen the eye. Oh, he's measuring his man. He's stalking him. He's running King. Yeah, that poor guy's in trouble. Can barely get to his feet. And now... Take a look at this one more time. I've never seen anything like it. He may get the three count right there. It's gonna be close. Two. What a decisive victory for Roman Reigns. Just incredible. Here's your winner. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. Many more losses like this and the future of Randy Orton will look incredibly dim. Another amazing match in the long and storied history of Survivor Series. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. Going to be good. We have Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. And here comes Dean Ambrose. I gotta tell you, Cole, this guy is so weird. He gives me the creeps. We're just moments away from one-on-one -on -one action here. And his opponent, from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Kevin Owens. You know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye. And this is one of those times. What an electric atmosphere we have here tonight for Survivor Series.
Welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Michael Cole, and to my left, the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. And I want to tell you something, Michael. This might well be one of the most highly anticipated nights of the entire year. This is going to be good. And he brings the action back inside the ring. So damaging. Well, let's quickly get your opinion on Dean Ambrose. It's anybody's guess, I know, but what do you expect from him here? What hasn't been said already? Everybody's talking the unbelievable potential we're witnessing here. Let's just sit back and enjoy. Well, no matter how hard he's trained or how much he wants to win here, the other guy in the ring is going to have a lot to say about how things go. And that one hurt his hand. God, what a stiff shot. And right on the mark. His nose might end up where his ear is by the time this one's over. Dean Ambrose can go stride for stride with any superstar in WWE, no matter how big or small. Ambrose launches a frenzied assault on opponents that combines brawling, air assaults, and submissions. Well, Michael, what makes the attacks you mentioned even more deadly for an opponent is that Dean Ambrose is one of the most unconventional superstars we've ever seen. No one knows what he's going to throw at any opponent next. And it's Dean Ambrose able to break free. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. Dean Ambrose's range of skills certainly venture into the unusual. But the attacks and strategies helped Ambrose become the longest reigning United States champion in WWE history with a 351-day championship reign. That's the third longest ever if you include the title's history in WCW and the NWA. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. Look out, Balloon! Look out! He's simply reminding him that he's here. You know, Dean Ambrose looks a little unhinged, and I won't argue that. But when you see Ambrose dismantle his opponents with speed, high-flying attacks, and all sorts of violence, there's no doubt that there's definitely a method to his madness. Oh, man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know what that's like. What makes a man even want to take a gamble like that, King? How should I know? I'm scared of heights. Dean Ambrose is really going to town right now. What a shot to the back. He's doing everything he can to get his bearings back here. Otherwise, this match could be over sooner than anyone could have anticipated. Yeah, Cole, this is when you have to settle things down. Get the blood flowing back in your body and strategize what your next move or your next form of... And he goes for the cover. This is it. Two, three. He got the job done. This one's over. Here's your winner, Dean Ambrose. A big singles victory here tonight. Oh, when you bring such a high level of intensity into the match, good things are bound to happen to you. Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. We hope you enjoyed that great match.
We'll see if the next match can equal that last one. Don't even think about going anywhere. It's Team Big E against Team Sheamus. Get ready for our six-man tag team matchup. It's live, and it's coming your way next. We have the New Day against Team Sheamus. Whoa, this could end up being nominated for a Slammy. And that powerful package known as Big E hears the bell and gets to work. Absolutely. And the crowd is all amped up to see how this six-man contest ends. Some old grudges are going to be rekindled in this six-man match. Regardless, the multi-talented Big E always brings it. And tonight should be no exception. absorb so much of that. When his strikes land, you can feel it in the first few rows. Big E's starting to slow down a bit here. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. Well, if he can't bounce back from this, then maybe he's not as tough as I thought he was. I think a lot of people would agree with that assessment, John. For his sake, I hope there's a lot more left in the tank. Now, why did he do that? A move like that's low. It's appalling, if you ask me. Totally disrespectful. Well, when he sees a belt, he likes to hit below it. Well, that's one way to take him down. Now, that's striking with pinpoint accuracy. You can't take too many of those. Looking highly motivated here. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. Well, that's the first time we've seen that move tonight from either locker room. I kind of love it. Take cover. You could call this a good old-fashioned butt whooping. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing. A butt whooping. Expanding the repertoire with that move. Man, he's all business, and that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Yeah. Head right on the kidneys. Oh, the punch connects. Putting an emphasis on damaging that shoulder. I don't remember the last 
time he executed that maneuver. And there's an extremely destructive strike. I don't know how much more of this that back can take. Kobe Kingston looks stunned by that. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. And at this point, it looks to me like this match is as even as it can get. And on top of that, John, these two guys couldn't be any more evenly matched at this point. That is an old school move, but it still works. I believe that is the first time tonight we've seen that move. That move should do it. I mean, this should have been over a while ago. Come on, Raph. Yeah, this should be over. Big E into the cover. Oh, that's going to hurt. Come on. Now he just wants that insult injury. Yeah, this guy's a mean streak. Oh, Sheamus. and just being outclassed here. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. Well said, Michael, but we've all seen him come back from worst beating in the past. Match. 
Sheamus' legs looking feeble. He could be on his way out of this one. Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Well, I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. His back wasn't hurt before. It certainly is now, and it's going to be hurting for a while. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. What a move! What a smart move! Oh, wait, nice reversal. Whoa! Don't get up! The quick reversal there by Xavier Woods. is in bad shape now. Hey, Sheamus knew what he was getting into when he signed up for this match. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Looks like somebody wants back in this match. The switch here to Victor. The body's taking some abuse here, but nothing that can't be shaken off. Taking a risk here. Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. He was one step ahead on that one. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Look out. Victor's measuring. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. Here's Victor. There's the cover. Can he do it? Think he's got it.
the Celtic warrior, Sheamus, Victor, and Connor. Impressive victory for Sheamus here tonight. At the risk of getting ahead of myself, if this guy keeps winning matches like that, we better reserve some room for him in the Hall of Fame. And what an amazing threesome they make. The rest of the card should be every bit as good as the last match, too. Tag team action on the way. We have Team Bray Wyatt against Team Undertaker.